So the basic idea, the basic principle, is something that we've already discussed. So counting methods apply in situations where we have probabilistic experiments with a finite number of outcomes, and where every outcome has, every possible outcome, has the same probability of occurring. So we have our sample space omega, and it's got a bunch of discrete points in there, and the cardinality of the set omega is some capital N. So in particular, every point in, uh, we assume that the sample points are equally likely, which means that every element of the sample space has the same probability equal to one over N. And then we're interested in a subset of the sample space, call it A, and that subset consists of a number of elements. Let the cardinality of that subset be equal to little n. And then to find the probability of that set, all we need to do is to add the probabilities of the individual elements. There's little n elements, and each one has probability 1 over capital N. And that's the answer. So this means that to solve problems in this context, all that we need to be able to do is to figure out the number capital N and the, figure out the number little n. Now, if somebody gives you a set by just giving you a list and gives you another set again giving you a list, it's easy to count their elements. You just count how much there is on the list. But sometimes uh, the sets are described in some more implicit way, and we may have to do a little bit more work. 